And welcome back to Movie Show Plus. I'm Greg Russell. And today I have a very, very special guest, Ed Wilburn. Now, he spent 44 years at General Motors. He became the vice president in charge of global design, which at that time was the highest ranking African-American in automotive history. And you've got this great history yourself with cards. Ed, welcome, first of all. Well, it, I cannot believe that I'm on Greg's show. I mean, this is so cool. I, I mean, you know, it's like, wow. <laughs> Thank oh, you. You got it. Uh, after that, anytime, anytime. <laughs> now, you, you started out, your love for cars started out when you used to go to your dad's shop. Talk a little bit about that. Well, I, my, you know, the first drawings I was doing of cars, I was like three years old. When other kids were drawing stick figures of people, <laughs> I was drawing very simple cars, age two, maybe three, and absolutely loved cars. And at, at age eight, I decided that I wanted to be a car designer for General Motors. General Motors, that was it, you know. Mm -hmm. And wow. I just followed that dream. Yeah. That is so great. Like I said, starting out, you know, with your dad doing the drawings. Yes. And then yeah. another person who you knew about that a lot of other people didn't was uh, Charlie Wiggins. Yes. Talk a little bit about him and who he is. Well, think about it. I mean, it's, it's a great story. 1920s, the jazz age, roaring 20s. Um, auto racing was new and race car drivers were national heroes. They were real sports heroes. Well, blacks wanted to be heroes, too, mm -hmm. but they were forbidden from driving in auto racing, from being drivers or even mechanics in auto racing. So a group of businessmen put together a separate league for them. And Charlie Wiggins was the star of that league. It ran for a 10 year period. They had a great fan base. They had big galas after the races and all of that. And uh, in those 10 years, Charlie won the championship four times and wow. just an amazing guy. Yeah. And, and it's kind of funny, like you said, you know, no one, most people don't know that story. It's almost yeah. like that movie that came out a few years back, Hidden Figures, you know, where yeah. the three yeah. ladies who did all the big stuff at NASA. Well, you're about to do something similar. You're putting together a movie about him called Erased. Now talk yeah. about that. Well, you know, the, the title Erased, which was a working title that's kind of stuck, but, you know, it's about racing. It's about a uh, an important chapter in American history that was erased. It's about race. It's much more than a racing movie. Racing, auto racing is at the core, but the love affair between Charlie Wiggins and his wife is a big part of it. The, what was happening in society at that time is a big part of it. It's, it's got a, a lot of layers to it that I'm so excited about. And it's really my mission to share this story with the world. Man, now, now when do you plan on starting production, getting that going? Yeah, well, you know, we, we've just kind of gotten over a big hurdle and that is really getting in place some very key partners mm -hmm. uh, on the project. You know, Firestone's very much a part of it. They were part of auto racing back then, they still are. Mm -hmm. And I uh, had a significant role. IndyCar racing's on board, so is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's, great partners to work with. And um, there will be other partners that we will announce in the near future. It, we're right at the point where we start to talk with the film studios and two potential directors and lead actors. Oh, that is great. <laughs> I look forward to, you know, following along with that. And, you know, when you start the production and getting things yes. back and having yes. you back on the show to talk even more about I, it. I really hope you, you go along for the ride as we oh. go forward with the project, yeah. I am there, anything you need, you got <laughs> right here. <laughs> that is no problem. And also you are a member of the Automotive Hall of Fame yes. and Charlie just got inducted himself. Tell yes. us a little bit about that, you know, and just how, how that also feeds in, you know, to the story. Well, you know, I was actually a part of nominating him for the Automotive Hall of Fame, uh, made the submission, and the board unanimously, you know, wanted to, you know, include him in that. And last night at, at their gala, I was the one who presented the award to the family of Charlie Wiggins. And, 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 and it's been just an incredible pleasure to meet members of his family. They're 
they're very cool people and they have some great stories about it. uncle charlie as they put it ah, that's great well ed welber thank you so much for your time and you know congratulations on all the things you know that have gone on in your life like you said again being a kid who loved cars i mean you couldn't have gotten you know much more up higher and then yeah. also with the movie we will be following along with you and yeah having you back on and you know doing whatever for yes. race want to know yeah. more and more I'd love about to that do it. love to do it okay fantastic thank you and thank you so much for your time and we'll be back with more movie show plus in just a moment and there we go that was wow. fun Thank you. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs>